WooCommerce itself is brilliant for adding your products and managing them and, and being able to take payments online and basically having an e-commerce website. But the problem is it's not actually very good at displaying your food products in the public facing website. I'll show you what I mean. So let's go to the pages section of the WordPress admin. You'll see that you've got a main shop page, which WooCommerce itself has created. So I'm going to view that and it's created a grid of all my food products here. You can have a separate page for each category, but essentially every category page and your shop page will look like this, which isn't really a very good way to sell food because people typically want a kind of more of an order form experience where they view a list of your food products and then they can choose quantities and um, variations and things without having to visit a separate page for each product. Like at the moment, let's say I want to buy my pepperoni pizza. Well, I have to click through to a separate page, choose my variations and then add quantities into the cart. And then I have to find my way back to the page I was on before. I just want a one page order form so that I can do that much more quickly and easily for each product and don't get lost by visiting multiple pages, which I just don't think people expect that when they're buying food online. They expect something more like the experience they get with Uber Eats, Just Eat, etc. So that's why you need the WooCommerce restaurant ordering plugin. It works with the products that you've already added using WooCommerce, but it creates a much faster food order form layout for them. I'll show you how to install it now. First, you need to get the WooCommerce restaurant ordering plugin from barn2.co.uk. And once you've got it, you'll receive an email which uh, has a link to download the plugin and also your license key. And I'm going to copy my license key now. Back into our WordPress admin, we'll go into the admin area and go plugins, add new. And then I'm going to upload plugin. And this is where I choose the file, which is the zip file that I added when I downloaded it from the email. So I click on WooCommerce restaurant ordering zip and open it and then install now. Then it's uploaded it to my website, so I click Activate Plugin. After that, I'll see it in my list of plugins, and I need to go to the Plugin Settings page, which you can also find under WooCommerce Settings Restaurant. You can see it's warning me that I need to enter my license key, so I'll do that here and activate it. So I've activated my license key, and now the plugin will work on my website. It's already created a main food order form page for me, which is great. If you just wanted certain categories to appear on your food order form page, then you could do that. But I'm just gonna have all my categories listed. And you can choose what information appears in the food order form, how many columns, and so on. So let's save the changes and then go straight to have a look at it. I'm going to go to the pages section of the WordPress admin now, and you can see there's a page called restaurant order. You could use quick edit to call that something else like food ordering or order food online. You can change it to whatever you want. It doesn't matter. And then we can view the page. And here we've got my food order form. Um, as you saw a minute ago, I could customise what appears here. I could also, I need to change the order of my category, so I'll do that in a minute as well, because obviously I want starters appearing before my main courses. And I'll show you how it works as well. If I want to add just one quantity of a simple product to the cart, then I would just click this and it would add it. And then if I click it again, it'll add more. And so that's how you quickly choose quantities and add to the cart. You might remember from the earlier lesson that I added variations and add-ons to my pepperoni pizza product. And you can see that actually it has a range of price options here because it says 9.99 plus, And that indicates that that's the lowest of several prices. It's not just a fixed price product. So let's click on the plus for that product. Here you can see that it's opened up a light box um, with my variations in it. So I've clicked nine inch and the crust, and then it's changed the price. It was 9.99, now it's 
and then as I increase the quantity it multiplies that up as well so that I can add them all to the cart. So that's the basic usage of our food order form which is created as soon as we install the WooCommerce restaurant ordering plugin. Next I'll show you how to create more advanced food order forms and where we have even more options.